You might recognize these combs from a video I made about two and a half years ago. The reason I made my own wool combs is because I wanted a way to process my own wool, and when I looked online, the price of wool combs was prohibitively expensive for me living in a small apartment while going to law school. So I made my own. Really all they are made of is a handle, something to hold the nails in, and then some precisely drilled holes with nails sticking out. Ideally, good wool combs should have longer nails and they also should be a little bit sharper than typical nails. But these have worked shockingly well for my own use. And that got me thinking. The 3D printer revolution has allowed us to make all kinds of things way easier. The problem with most of the things that are made is most of them end up being desk toys. So what I did is I've made my very own 3D printable wool combs. These combs work exactly the same way as the previous ones that I made in wood. You simply comb at 90 degree angles to the comb that's currently got the wool. Slowly it transfers over to this comb. You eventually use that process to make the combed top by pulling on the end of this little beard slowly to get a long, perfectly aligned bundle of fibers that's perfect for worsted style spinning. The reason for this project is related to a lot of my other projects. On Good and Basic, we like to make things from scratch and push things to their most fundamental point. This style of preparing wool with combs is really, really old. There are versions of these that have wood tines that have been dated back pretty much to the Neolithic. This style of wool combing is also fundamental for another reason. It's related to a kind of radical self-sufficiency that was envisioned by such figures as Gandhi. With these sorts of tools, you can produce your own thread. If you can produce your own thread, you are involved in the production of the necessities of your own life. Even if it's just theoretical or a hobby, the ability to make your own stuff is incredibly satisfying. Being able to produce your own textiles, your own food, your own tools of various kinds, all these things are part of what we would call the good life. My key concern in designing these wool combs was to make them cheap and easy to produce at home. This was my first prototype with the 3D printing. It has a simple square handle, which is quite blocky, and a simple square here for the head, and then these holes are designed to accommodate the same welding rod that I used in my charcoal design. Now, with the welding rod, we introduce a problem. These tines had to be cut individually to length and then ground to a point individually. That takes an enormous amount of time and welding rod is actually quite expensive, so this was not an optimal solution. Fast forward and we came up with this design. With this one, they're designed to use 3.5 inch nails of the 16D width. And that cuts that time of producing your own tines down pretty much to zero. You buy the ready-made nails, you pound them into place, you glue them up if they're a little bit loose, and then you're done. Just a couple of minor design tweaks later, we came up with this version. Now I'm distributing it in two formats. You can buy them from me on Etsy, or you can actually print them yourself at home. I've uploaded the design files to Thingiverse, so they're available for anyone who wants to print one. Many people have access to a 3D printer, either through a friend of the family, or through a local makerspace, which is often included in a public library. When putting the nails in place, simply put one of these holes directly over the edge of a secure table. You can use something like a wood stove or there's a leg of this table right under where I'm at so that it can take a little bit of a beating. I then place the nail so that it's not gonna hit the table but be very close to it and then I tap it into place. And then slide it forward a little bit and put in the next one. It's important to be very careful and precise when you put these nails in. If you end up hitting the plastic, it is possible to break it. So be quite careful to hit the, hit the nail on the head, as it were. When you're putting in the nails, you can either do them in a double row variety by filling in every single hole, or if you prefer, you can make a single row set of wool combs by just putting in that first layer of nails. I actually find that these work a little bit better with my short staple wool. Once you've combed your wool, you simply gather it up like this, pull on the tip, and then slowly pull out a very long bundle of fiber that is referred to as combed top. 
This stuff is awesome, especially for worsted spinning, because it has very little air trapped in with the wool, and the fibers are aligned going the same direction. You just tug, move forward, tug a little bit more, move forward, and you're left with a long, flowing bundle of fiber, ready for spinning. After assembling your own combs, you can have satisfaction from two different sources of value here. One of them is the savings in buying the 3D printed like this rather than the more expensive variety. The other is that you will have made these your own. You will have made them your own by actually building them yourself. If you're using wool combs, I suspect it's because you like to make things. So why not make your own wool combs? As always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe below. And if you are interested in these wool combs, I'll leave links in the description below for the Thingiverse link and also for the shop on Etsy. Look forward to seeing you next time.